If you're not ready to give up, check out mdriveformen.com. Lean muscle. Available at Walgreens. All right, we call it the uh, three-word game that you are forced to be direct and succinct. You can describe every NFL game in just three words. So we're ready for week seven NFL three-word game. Browns and Bengals. Seen it before. I know Baker's good against the Bengals. He has 114 career passer rating against their defense. 30% of his wins have come against Cincinnati. He's 4-0 against the Bengals, Cowboys, Washington this year. He's 1-2 against the Colts, Ravens, and Steelers. And his win, the Colts game, he was bad in the second half. Stop trying to convince me he's great because he beats the Bengals every year. Lions at Falcons. Finding new ways. Oh, good Lord. The Falcons, 1-6, blew a fourth-quarter lead for the third time this season. Todd Gurley accidentally scored a go-ahead touchdown with a minute four remaining. It gave Atlanta a 22-16 lead. The, the problem, of course, is that gave the ball back to Detroit and Matt Stafford. Passed to TJ Hawkinson as time expired. So he, he actually, they, they lose when they score and seemingly win. Cowboys at Washington. Fire absolutely everyone. The Cowboys have trailed by 14 plus points in six straight games. Arizona had Steve Wilkes. They made a mistake. They moved on. You've just got to acknowledge, Jerry, the last two coaches that pushed back Parcells and Jimmy Johnson are the last two times you won big. Be a smart businessman. This isn't working. Steelers at Titans. Been here before. Roethlisberger struggled. He had a 67 passer rating. Only this missed field goal is the only reason we don't go to overtime, and I like Tennessee in that overtime. Ben is a big play quarterback, and they led 27-7 to in the third, but too many mistakes A lack of detail by Ben Roethlisberger almost cost the Steelers a game in which they outplayed Tennessee for most of three hours. Bills at Jets. Hurt my eyes. Jets had four total yards in the second half. The eight-point loss by the Jets with Darnold was their closest game of the year, and Buffalo won a game without scoring a touchdown. Panthers at Saints. Living on reputation. Saints ain't right, folks. They've allowed opposing quarterbacks to have a quarterback rating of 116 this year. Lattimore, what happened? Pass rush, what happened? They ranked 24th in scoring defense. They've won their last three games despite trailing at some point in each of those games. They're just not as good defensively. And they can't, there's something going on with Michael Thomas and the staff as he can't get healthy. They're not right. Packers at Texans. Who's got Adams? Could somebody double team Devontae Adams or something? He had eight catches, 114 yards in the first half. 196 total yards. I'm always amazed by this. Like at some point, their number two receiver isn't as lethal. Just double him. That's what Belichick does. Just take out their best player. Texans couldn't figure it out. Buccaneers at Raiders. Starting to click. Tom Brady, 370 passing yards. How about Gronk? Five receptions and a touchdown. So Gronkowski now is becoming part of this offense. Rookie Tyler Johnson had it. Scotty Miller, they four different Buccaneers caught touchdown passes. They're getting healthier and they're getting better. Jaguars at Chargers. Herbert has it. My God. Five games, he's averaging 308 yards. He has 12 TDs, three picks. Now, I do like their weapons. He looks so comfortable. He'll throw right in the face of a rush. He'll throw right before he's going to get whacked. Yesterday, four TDs, no picks. (laughs) You know, even though it was his first win of his career, I, I will say this. They've been in games. He's had some bad luck. Their defense is not quite as good without Derwin James as you'd hope, but he looks special. 
49ers and Patriots. Bill comes due. Belichick's worst loss, 27-point loss at Foxborough. Now, some of this is San Francisco's good. They're getting healthier. Uh, they don't have Bosa, but that's still a decent pass rush. First time New England not scoring a touchdown at home in four years. Cam Newton's passer rating has declined each game. And listen, uh, they don't draft offensive skill people well. And so good luck to Cam or anybody that's a quarterback here. You you cannot win with this slow of a receiving and tight air core. I don't care if you have Mahomes. You can't win big with this roster. Chiefs at Broncos. Mahomes, day off. Season low in attempts, completions, passing yards, touchdown passes. This is a much more complete team. From about week 12 on last year, this is a real football team, totally complete. Seahawks at Cardinals. Present versus future. You were watching a mirror image of Russell Wilson. His name was Kyler Murray. Wildly entertaining. Too many mistakes to call it a classic, but it was just deep balls and running around and great plays. Wildly entertaining. Wildly entertaining football game. Both offenses combined for 1,091 yards. God, it was great. I thought the game was over. So I had Seattle uh, minus three and a half. They led by 10 with about three and a half minutes to go. And then Pete Carroll got to conservative. And I'm like, Pete, you trust this defense? They gave it back to Kyler. He moved the ball down 55 seconds. Boom, boom, boom. Field goal. We go to overtime. Maddening if you're a Seahawks fan. It was a great game. Though. Oh, God, it was. So Plus, the World Series game was fantastic. Great Dodgers bullpen, just lousy enough to make every game fascinating. All right, we're done for today. Speak for Yourself is right around the corner for Joy and John and everybody here. It's the Herd.